Victor, let's uh, now go across to our guests who are joining us on the show to discuss this issue of the ban on the PFI. Tehseen Punawala, political analyst for the Congress Party, is joining us here. AK Jain, former DGP Uttar Pradesh, and PKD Nambiar, a supporter of the BJP. What's your reaction to that? Uh, well, Maha, it is definitely, there is nothing, there is no politics into it. And it is nothing to do with Karnataka or even the hijab issue. Because I'll tell you the reason there is almost 30, 35 year old history of the PFI. Now you will say that PFI was not there. It's all started with ISS. ISS, there was a Abdul Nasser Madni who is in the uh, in the Bangalore jail. Even now on the uh, Coimbatore, uh, the blast case, he's in the, behind the jail. From from there onwards, then it become became NDF. NDF became Simi. Uh, sorry, CIMI became NDF, NDF became uh, PFI and uh, SDPI and so on and so forth. So it has been there for the longest of time and Kerala has been the capital of these forces, these extremist forces. Now then there is a question that why it is not been told, uh, the, the nationally it is not been aware by the people. Because both the political parties or the political fronts, both UDF and LDF in Kerala, despite their own chief ministers, both in the outside the parliament, uh, outside the legislative assembly, or uh, within the legislative assembly, have been talking about and criticized about these organizations. They are an extreme organization. Their political masters have always stood by these forces. Mm -hmm. That is the reason that the whole world uh, in general have not heard about this too much. Uh, if you really recall, in the 2003, uh, the V.S. Achyudan, then, then the left front uh, chief minister, has clearly said this is an extreme or missed organization. We need to be very careful. We need to, be, nobody, including his own party, should not get along with them. Hmm. But what happened thereafter is uh, it's a really a history. Both, I have, yesterday I have even tweeted a picture of both Ramesh Sanitala, the former uh, home minister and the opposition leader of Congress, and the, uh, the chief minister, the current chief minister of Kerala is sharing dice with them. Even with the SDPI, these people even had political alliances only All from right. the point I'll of view of political vote the bank. SDPI from is there not banned. The political no, outfit Maha, is I'll not just, banned. The I'll just PFI is my banned. In word, okay. but very quickly. Hmm. So the problem is this ban. I have never been for the ban. Let me tell you, in, or even in your own show, I have said that I am not for ban because only just banning this organization, they will come in a different shape. What we need to do is that we have to approach this thought process from everywhere. And the, in Kerala is the, uh, was the only state wherein when they have not sought any help from the state police during the raid, NIA and the ED raid, they have used the CRPF. That clearly gives a feeling that the state government in Kerala was never supporting and they were rather supporting the PFI rather than supporting the cause of the people who are working against the uh, the constitution against the country, these extremist forces. All right, Nambiar wants Shah to come in. coming across as incompetent. Let's get a response from him. Uh, PKD Nambiar. It's a, it's a, Tessin, today you are contradicting yourself. On the one side, you are saying it is because of the political pressure. Let it happen. Even if it is a political pressure, it happened. So let's support that. Then there is no politics in it. By opposition pressure, there I is support. no politics in it. Accept it. Okay, fine. Now, the thing what I wanted to ask you is that your Maharashtra PCC president, Nana Patole, is saying that it is an extremist organization. It needs to be banned. Why your Kodikunil Suresh and Ramesh Senitala of the Congress party were in your, the Yuvraj is walking right now in Kerala, is uh, criticizing the ban? Even in, the, even in your own channel, even before we started this show, even they were showing the ANI bite of uh, Kodikunil Suresh. So the problem is that you, the Congress in, is, is selective depending upon the state, what suits to their politics. In Kerala, they wanted to have, because Muslim population is very huge, it is now almost 30, 32% of the population, and they are very united, and they wanted to have the vote bank. Without the Muslim vote bank, they will not be able to come back to power, or rather even not even being in the opposition. You will, and so when that is the situation, now you are saying it is a political ban. So the idea is that an organization, a terrorist organization, an extreme or extremist organization has been banned. Let us upload, let's not put the politics in it. One thing only I can tell you, it is, I, as I said earlier, the only just a ban is not be the solution. The solution is to be uprooting the, the mindset of the people who have okay. joined in these All right. extreme yeah, yeah. organizations. Uh, Tessina, I'll, I'll come back to you. Tessina, I think, why, wants no, to he's, respond. He's I'll come saying, back to both of you. Let me quickly get a response. Why, the, why, why your central leadership stand has not been conveyed to all your states? 
why the people in your states have a different view than the central leadership if in no that case i think it's time for the congress to just expose your own team and All i right. think if the i think we, the we will have to leave it have here where on this ban on the pfi for the next five years many thanks all three of you for joining us here on the discussion